Hey, it's Sasha Ann, and I'm an actress, singer, and professional makeup artist. Welcome to The Vibe, where I talk about the hottest trends in fashion, beauty, and entertainment. Hi loves, welcome to The Vibe. I'm your host, Sasha Ann, and in this episode, I'm going to be sharing with you guys some on-trend makeup tips, and I'm going to be chatting with Scarlett Bellasong. All right, let's jump right into it. This season, bright blush and glossy lips are in. Like fashion, beauty trends also repeat themselves. Bold blush was huge in the 80s, and glossy lips were what tween dreams were made of in the late 90s and early 2000s. Thankfully, beauty products have come a long way since then. Blushes are now healthier for your skin, and glosses aren't so gloopy and sticky. I'm going to be sharing with you guys my favorite blush and lip gloss. I love this Dior blush. I use it every day and I add a little on my nose as well as my cheeks to give my complexion more color. I start at the apple of my cheek and I want to make sure to pull it back and up because it just makes it look like everything is lifted, nice, fresh, young. We want all that. We don't want anything going down and make everything droopy. We want it nice and lifted pretty and make sure you use a light hand don't do anything so rough and harsh just very light and a little bit goes a long way because you don't want to pack it on and then you're gonna have to take it off if you don't like it so that's my tip this lip gloss by dior is also very popular especially in this bright pink shade just apply it however you usually apply lip gloss rub together and there you go. It also smells like candy. So, so good. Love that. So pretty. Let me see what it's called. I think it's called... Oh, it's called Princess. I love that. I had a feeling it was called Princess because this is the only Dior gloss I have. Recently, I shared with you guys how to get Maude Apatow's 2022 Met Gala Makeup Look. Make sure to go through my YouTube channel search for that video, click on it, watch it, along with my other wonderful makeup tutorials. I am so excited to have my first guest on this episode of The Vibe, Scarlett Bella Song. Scarlett is a South Korean teen dancer, model, actress, jewelry designer. What doesn't she do? She's literally everything. With over 675,000 Instagram followers and her jewelry collaboration with Annie and Sisters. Scarlett's definitely a star on the rise. Now's your chance to get to know her better. On to the interview. So welcome to the vibe. <laughs> um, I checked out some of your dance videos and you're really impressive. Thank you. <laughs> How long have you been studying dance for? So I started dancing when I was really little, but I really got into classes when I was around five years old. And ever since I've been just dancing, I guess, and it's pretty much been a part of my entire life. That's amazing. I love dance too. What's your favorite style? So I train in almost every style, but I would say my favorite style right now is contemporary and hip hop. I love hip hop. <laughs> yes, it's so fun. It's so fun. Um, I see that you've also done a lot of modeling. Yes. Do you have like a favorite fashion designer or a company you like to work with? I love working with a bunch of different companies, but recently I walked for Mila Hoffman in Austin Fashion Week, and that was so much fun. I love what I wore, and I can't wait to walk with her in New York Fashion Week this September. That's amazing. Oh my gosh. Congrats on that. <laughs> I love fashion too. What's your, like, I guess your style? I know a lot of people always ask me this, but I can never like say because I just love so many, my style includes so many different things. And like, I wouldn't say I have a specific style because I just kind of like, if I like it, I wear it. So that's the kind of thing. Yeah, me too. I like to experiment with a bunch of stuff. Like, I don't have, like, a specific. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but with over, I, I can't believe I'm about to say this, but over 675,000 followers, like, it's safe to say that you have a lot of eyes watching you, like, what you do. So how do you try to use so, 
social media like in a positive way? So I love to spread positive messages and really make sure that I'm an advocate for mental health awareness. And I just really want people to feel like comfortable around me and know that no one's perfect and that we all go through hard times. And I try to be really real because I know social media can be fake. And so toxic. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I love that. I try to be real with my followers too because there's so much like fakeness going around. It's ridiculous. Like just be real, be who you yeah. are. You know? Uh, but I see that you also have a jewelry line collab with Annie and Sisters. I love that company so much. So tell me about that. And where can we find it? So I was really excited to work with Annie and Sisters because I love her whole brand about like, you know, sisterhood and like everything that I, my platform is for, like expressing positive messages and knowing like we're all here for each other. And it was an amazing process creating with Annie. She really like brought all our ideas like to life and we really collaborated really well and I'm really happy with that outcome and it was just like amazing because I've always wanted to have my own jewelry line and that was just so much fun. That's amazing. I love Annie and Sisters and love their message. Yeah and you can follow Annie and Sisters on Instagram and also she has her website www.annieandsisters.com. <laughs> so go check that out. <laughs> But thank you so much for chatting with me today. Is there anything you would like to talk about yourself or anything you'd like to say to everyone watching? Well, I just want to say I love you guys so much and I really hope you guys are having a great day. And also I want to mention something fun I'm doing this summer. I'm working with a music festival and it's like a charity in New York that's raising money for homeless kids in New York as well as Ukraine. And I think I'm so excited I'm getting to form there with my friends and dance and it's gonna be so much fun that is so fun I love that yeah. <laughs> congratulations on that I'm actually from New York and moved here so have fun in New York <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much for having me interview you and I hope you have an amazing day you are so talented and thank you're so sweet so too <laughs> thank you so much yeah of course thank you almost wrapped up with this week's episode. First, a Sashitude. <laughs> Sashitudes are my personal mottos, tips, and quotes. And this week's Sashitude is be patient with yourself. You're always a work in progress. It's okay to make mistakes as long as you keep learning from them. I'm only 22, I make mistakes, and I learn from them. That's it for this week. If you guys want to learn more about me, then make sure to check out my debut single, Catch Me I'm Falling, on all streaming platforms, which is already at probably over 200,000 Spotify streams by now, which is crazy. And it's at 1 million impressions in stores. And it just got on the UK top 40 charts, which is insane. So I'm so thankful and it's all thanks to you guys for streaming and playing my song, watching the music video. And I'm so excited to see where this takes me. If you guys love this episode, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, follow me on all my social media, and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye loves. Well, 